Each year during our birthday celebration, we listen to the words of our 13th Commandant, General John A. Lejeune. Back in time to the times of people like General John Lejeune. One of the greatest leaders we've ever had is General Lejeune. If you think about it, he turned the core to the core that we have today. Uh, and we can be very proud and should remember that great legacy of his. Yes, you ought to join Leatherneck and Gazette. That's our professional association. Has been since General Lejeune, so you have to be there. Uh, yeah, John Archer Lejeune was probably one of the most important commandants, one of the most important Marines of all time. And I can, I can uh, sincerely say, in my opinion, that if it wasn't for John Archer Lejeune's leadership of the Marine Corps after he became commandant in the 1920s, all the battles that had occurred in World War II uh, probably might have been Army actions. John A. Lejeune, the 13th Commandant, actually was commanding general here in Quantico and before he became commandant. And you know, Quantico itself, the crossroads of the Corps, is actually a monument to John A. Lejeune. John A. Lejeune was responsible for our schools here, that all our officers go to. He was, he believed very much in professional education for Marines. It's a matter of confusion about how you read it. Uh, you know, people argue again, uh, there's no R in Lejeune, but there's no R in Colonel, and yet Colonel is is pronounced Colonel, not Colonel. His name is Lieutenant General John Archer Lejeune, and the correct pronunciation for the base, according to his family members, is Camp Lejeune. The family pronounces it Lejeune, as though it had an R in it, which it does not have. John Lejeune is one of many descendants of General Lejeune, who was born and raised in southern Louisiana. Questions? Sir, Commandant. Marine Moss, are we meeting at Camp Lejeune next week? It's Camp Lejeune, Marine, and this meeting is adjourned. Sergeant Arms, grab that guy. Get $100 from him. He should know better. Lejeune, General John Archer Lejeune. Marines, get it right! It's General John Archer Lejeune. Hurrah! Get it right. Get controversially. John Archer Lejeune. Camp Lejeune. Uh, when I asked her how the family said the name, she just smiled at me and said, it has always been Lejeune. Camp Lejeune. At the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps Base, two new buildings at Camp Lejeune are housing wounded warriors and their families. It's General Lejeune. Get it right. Rock on. General John Archer Lejeune. Hurry up. Rock hard. It's John Archer Lejeune. Get it right, Marine. John Archer Lejeune. I'm here at the Marine Corps Air Station on Camp Lejeune. The John Archer Lejeune family has not mispronounced their own name in the last 200 years. Neither should we Marines. It's Lejeune. The Honorable Kay Hagan. Good morning, Camp Lejeune. Thank you. I'm Jill Biden, and I am a proud military mom. I'm delighted to be back here at Camp Lejeune. Thank all of you, all of you here at Camp Lejeune. We now have the presentation of the General John A. Lejeune recognition for exemplary leadership. This recognition, which was provided by the founder Patrick Brent in the form of a statuette of General Lejeune that is now the same size and weight as an Oscar, and a World War I Springfield 1903 rifle. The recipient must epitomize the core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and practice the leadership traits and principles ascribed to by the United States Marine Corps. The Marine Corps Heritage Foundation's first recipient of this award is Mr. Robert J. Stevens. It has associated with it the name of John Archer Lejeune, 
who was such an outstanding and inspirational and effective leader in his lifetime. I thank you for this honor. I will treasure it always. God bless you. God bless the United States. God bless the United States. <laughs> Based out of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina headquarters there.